All right, we're live. Come on down. So I'm going to change over to being inside today because it's toasty out there. Hi, right, welcome. And as Michael said, I have a deeper voice. <laughs> All right, come on down. Come on board. My name is Barry Selby. Welcome. Thanks for coming. Oh, I'm going to do this. Ah, damn. Oh, well, go see your faces. My name is Barry Selby. Um, I am a love coach, relationship coach, and a bunch of other things too. So negativity comes up in my work. So I'd want to talk about that in this scope. This is, I'm sort of the two and a half person since Cindy couldn't get back on or something. So my slot now from 12.20 Pacific time to 12.30 Pacific time is all for you. Please, if you're first time here, please go ahead and share with your followers, um, invite followers and go on Twitter, etc., etc., and keep adding hearts. Um, I broke 90,000 hearts yesterday no, how to say that? No, that's not the work I do. I'm a heartbreak repair specialist. I earned 90,000 hearts yesterday. <laughs> I should rephrase that one. I didn't break 90,000 hearts. But I threw some scopes yesterday out to 90,000. So my goal today is 100,000, my first six figure heart achievement. So thanks for coming. Thanks for joining. Keep tapping the screen, giving lots of hearts. Please share with your followers and let's get going. So, negativity and how to deal with it. Um, I'm going to cover both sides to a degree, both outside coming at you and from inside coming out, because we deal with a lot sometimes, and it's funny, if I'm going to let you log in. Oh, I'm sorry, Cindy. Uh, maybe you can go on the back end after uh, Marina. That might work. I'm sure that um, Cassie wouldn't mind. Um, anyway, you two can talk about that on, on here. Two degrees? Two degrees of what? Separation? <laughs> um, so let me get to the fundamentals about this. Negativity is part of life. We are actually on a negatively focused planet. And um, this wasn't what I planned, but it's coming through anyway. David Hawkins, who wrote a book called Power Vs. Force, talks about this in his work about how positive energy far, far outweighs negative energy. And this is kind of cool to know because it means that if you get around a lot of negativity and a lot of thoughts, like one positive thought will outweigh thousands of negative thoughts. And we did, I was in a training with him or a workshop with him going back four years ago. He did a demonstration where he had mus did muscle testing, if you know what that is. And basically, he tested energetically how much power the room had when it was in positive energy. And there were about 600 people there. And he basically, through muscle testing with his assistant, figured out that 600 people thinking positive thoughts was equal to 5 million people doing negative thoughts. Think about the power of that. So negative stuff is not as heavy, frankly, as positive, which is good news. But in terms of being around negativity and how to deal with it, let's get to some nuts and bolts because I want to help you with this. First thing, if you're a negative people, walk away. You have feet, you have mobility. Hey, how are you? Good to see you here. Um, if you are in negative or negative people too much, it's going to drag. It can drag you down. It takes a lot of power to stay in your heart and centered and loving. Yes, most of us have feet. Even if you have a wheelchair, I mean, you still leave. If you're a negative people. Get your butt out of there. It doesn't serve you. Now, being around like positive people all the time can be really silly if they're not in the truth, because I'm about being authentic. So if something's not working, work with it and focus on what you really want to do, because what it comes back to is you loving yourself. Yes, walk away from negative people. Now, I want to say this also, because this is the thing about negativity. Negative feedback is also feedback. If it's feedback, and so it depends, suppose they follow you, um, walk faster, Garth, <laughs> run, <laughs> get a taxi, <laughs> do something. <laughs> um, so, oh, and this is the other thing. Negative people, just so you know, it's all about them. What I mean is they're projecting the negativity on you. If there's feedback they want to help you with, then they'll give it to you in a way that's helpful. If they're just complaining at you because they want to complain, it's their stuff, not yours. So if you're dealing with people like that, either one, you need to hire, they need to hire you as a coach and have them work through the stuff. But if they're not willing to do that, again, walk away. It doesn't serve you to be surrounded by people who aren't being positive. It's not worth it. I mean, like the Perry 10 group, the Perry 10K group, the Katia started that we're all part of, rocks because we're so much about the positive direction, inspiration, motivation, that sort of thing. Um, I want to speak one caveat or side piece to what Michael said at the beginning about the media news. I totally agree with you about not watching the news. And I did a scope yesterday, the day before, about Periscope. I did a philosophical discussion about Periscope. I don't know why it came out. 
But it talks about how the this phone, your phone with Periscope, is your local news channel. And it's the citizens network. So what he said I agree with totally. This technology allows us to shoot and record any sort of news we want because we have the power now. That changes our viewpoint. So we can go ahead and record kids being walked across the street by their parents, being hugged by their parents, um, kids playing sports in the park. We can report that as positive news and start flooding the network and the airwaves and the media and the online community with positive images. I just did a thing on Facebook this morning, my, I called it the uh, Saturday Smile. This 104 year old woman in Scotland is doing yarn bombs in her city, meaning what she's doing, she's decorating all the statues and the building stuff with yarn, like knitting. It's insane, she's 104 years old. That for me is a positive expression, so beautiful to watch. So having someone shoot that on Periscope would be awesome. So that's one sidebar. Anyway, back to, and please keep tapping the screen. I've got 10,000 hours to get <laughs> in my next couple of scopes of this one too. Yeah, it, she, is, she is awesome. Um, let me talk about negative insight, because we've talked about outside, you know, running away. Um, negative insight, because I think always we tend to find that voice comes up. And for me, it comes up quite often when things aren't going the way I think they should go. So I have to do some self-management and self-talk. She could not, not, though. Very funny. Thank you, Guy. Um, there are things you can do. First of all, the simplest thing you can do is change your language. So if you start hearing yourself and it's a matter of being tuned in to listen to your own self-talk, that's negative, do things like have affirmations on your wall or the mirror or somewhere you can see them to get yourself out. The challenge, though, is to get self out down the road and forget we we're in negative form. So it's retraining yourself. Ooh, I like this. Thank you, Georgie. I appreciate that. That's a good thing to resource. So po folks, you can follow her and check her out her scope. That sounds like a good thing to resource because that's not my area of expertise. But what I do with my work, because I do, I do help my clients heal, is to really show them the positive side of things, the growth side, so they can step into their go goals. One um, statement I've used a lot, and I've got three, two, almost over two minutes. So Angela, if you want to go get ready or put some, put some emojis up first, and then go into, the, into your scope and set up, that'd be great, because you've got uh, two minutes to go. All right? So Angela, you're on here somewhere? Give us some hearts before you go. Um, I was gonna say, one of the best statements you can say to yourself if you're not sure how to get somewhere better is how can it be how can it become even better than this if you ask that question repeatedly you're going to get answers because every question you ask has an answer there you go is that you are you the, are you is that is that angela sorry i don't know that i'm trying to tie together the um uh, the handles and the, and the names so yes okay so again how can it get even better than this if you can ask yourself repeatedly until you get an answer, how can it get even better than this? Your life can change. Because it doesn't matter where you start, better is up. And everything is going better and better and better and better. God, if you want to be like me, I appreciate that. But you should be like yourself. <clears throat> Everyone should be themselves. That's the whole thing about this. So own your own magnificence, sir, which you do, I know, as well as watching your scopes. We're here to make a difference. And one of the reasons I like this is because by making a difference, I feel more positive, and I think you guys do too if you're in this group. That's the thing you can do. Um, how to deal with negativity? Also, go out and do things in the world that are positive. Be of service. Open the door for somebody. Leave some loose change for somebody. Like, things like that are positive because you get to walk away going, I did something. It changes the energy, it shifts your mood. So if you're dealing with negativity, as I said, if it's somebody else, walk, around, walk away. If it's in yourself, go do some stuff physically, whether it's vacuuming the house or going out and, going out and buying someone a cup of coffee or giving something to the homeless person or going down the beach. Thank you. I definitely welcome the hearts. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Yeah, Garth, this is one thing to talk about. I won't, I won't stop doing that. If a woman doesn't like the fact of opening the door for her, I'm not trying to disempower her. This is one of the things women sometimes feel, that we are disempowering them by opening the door. No, it's out of respect. And if, I, and if she gets upset, I'll say that to her. And that's the thing, Garth. Because I've had it before. And I don't know if you're joking or not, but I've experienced that before, where I've had a woman get upset with me or open the door for her. Like, I'm totally capable. And I said, you know what? I know you are. I'm going to door for you out of respect, not out of thinking you're not capable. Difference is clear. So, yeah, so Garth, I, I agree with you totally. I've been there myself. Um, it's 12.30, sorry, it's 12.30 Pacific time, so hopefully Sarah's on. Uh, sorry, Angela's on. She's next. Yeah, well, she may want some coaching. Send it to me, I'll coach her. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> she may not want that. <clears throat> yes. All right, so <laughs> ran her over. Garth, come on. <laughs> So Angela should be up next. It is 12.30 now. 
So if anybody can keep an eye out for that, let me know. I didn't see her post any hearts. So hopefully she's in this scope somewhere because she's scheduled. Um, if not, we may have a three-person scope instead of a five-person scope today, if any that's working since we, Cindy couldn't get back on. Um, any thoughts, Katya, or anybody else is on, if we should wait longer for Angela, or if... They're not link broadcasts, but people will post inside. Um, she's on? Great. Okay. So, anybody who's watching this scope, thank you for watching. Thanks for all the hearts. We're bumping across to watching Angela's scope now, and she'll be linked, and we'll all be posting to come join us. Um, yes, and if you want to find it by Perry 10K, whoops, quickly, Perry 10K is P E R I 10, the number K.com forward slash join if you want to come join us. All right, got that piece in. I'll see you guys later. I'm locking out. You're welcome. Glad you joined us. And I'll be dro dropping out to catch in Angela's scope next and see you on that one. See you, folks. Perry 10K team, yes, absolutely, Garth. All right, let's go find our intro. She should be on, she should be on by now. See you guys later. Bye.